all terrific kitty toys. I am swimming in a sea of Scooby-Doo's and it's a good thing. This is the Scooby-Doo collection at BRB TV headquarters and there's 60 something now, I think. I lost count. And as of press time, we'll show you what we have and it's an ever-growing collection, so stay tuned. It's time for the talkies. Welcome to part three of a special series on terrific TV toys focused on the Scooby-Doo plush. And this time we zero in on the talking Scooby-Doo's currently in the collection at BRB TV. We're going to start with the Count. <laughs> this um, is actual full name is Count Scooby-Doo and Scooby because he's really a combination between Scooby and Scrappy. He has the look about him of a scrappy, the shape of the jowl, and the little dukes put up, put up your dukes, put up your dukes, let me at him, let me at him. But he sounds like <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> and I think there's one more. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> this is Count Scrooby Doo, and he was released for Halloween 2014. He was um, this one was purchased at a Walgreens in Ann Arbor, Michigan, in September 2014. You can see he's got his little tag, um, nice little velvety ribbon. Uh, we left his tag on that that tells you how to get him to speak. And then in the back, he's got nice little cape on because he is a count. And then he's got his tag for Walgreens, too. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that's the count. Let's move on to Shaky. This is Shaky Doo. And Shaky is one of the Steel City Doos. These were purchased at the Steel City Con in August 2014 in Pennsylvania. I got a whole big bag of Scoobies for a total of $5.00. It was really a deal, especially when I realized that Shaky is a talkie. So Shaky has got his little flashlight. So you can um, see that flashlight. And I guess he's kind of a Halloween dude too. But when you press the button on the flashlight, a ghost, and he's shaking too. You can't really see it. I can feel it. And maybe you can hear it through this camera, but he's also shaking. So he says different things. And look at the flashlight as a real working flashlight. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> I can see you. Yeah, you can, Shaky. Let's see, is that it? Let me press it. Cover my eyes. Oh, scary. cover his eyes. He's so scared. He's still shaking. <laughs> Yikes, a ghost. So he says three or four things. But that's through his flashlight. Actually, also, if you take his little tail, let's grab his tail. Oh, someone's got me. And he's shaking again. <laughs> let's hear it again, Shaky. Who's got me? I don't know, Shaky. Turn on my flashlight. Oh, okay. Well, I'll turn on your flashlight. Oh, oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Is that you, pal? Yes, pal, that's me. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> okay. Isn't he adorable? All right. So that is little Shaky Do from the Steel City Con, purchased, um, previously owned, but loved just the same in the BRB TV household. Okay. Third one. This is. Fuzzy Doo. Now, Fuzzy Doo, um, I guess I named him Fuzzy because he really was one of the first Fuzzy Doos that I had. He came along in, sep in um, summer. Summer 2014, he came from a carnival in Metro Detroit, and he seemed like really any other Doo except he was Fuzzy, and he's in a different pose. A lot of my Doos are sitting upright on their haunches and he's almost standing in his pose so he seemed a little different for that and his collar is a little bit different too and he's fairly big um and he's just real cute all over he's got a cute little face and everything but it wasn't discovered until i was working on a photo shoot 
with the Mysterious Claw Game Avenger, who shall remain nameless, we were getting all the dues set up on this very couch, actually, for a photo shoot for the 4th of July special holiday photo for my blog, which I have been shooting a Scooby-Doo photo for every holiday that I post um, on my blog for the holidays. And so we are getting ready for the 4th of July photo shoot, and we are putting all the dues in position, and the Mysterious Claw Game Avenger picked up Fuzzy... And oh my gosh, that thing talks? <laughs> We're both like, oh wow, that's crazy. We had no idea because he really does not have any other tags. I mean, he's got a tag back here. It says Cartoon Network. And um, then it's just got some verbiage on the back. It does not give any indication that he talks. And so he didn't have any other tag. He is a little bit heavy. So I guess that should have been a clue right? <laughs> right, Fuzzy do. So he does say several things. He's got a little battery pack inside that actually, once we realized he was talking, he was a little um, fuzzy at first in his voice. And so I took out the battery pack and um, made sure there was a fresh battery in there. So um, he would uh, talk a little bit better. And he does. He does speak quite well. You're my friend. <laughs> oh, thank Right. What whoa. What whoa. whoa. Yipe. Yipe. Boy, how interesting a discovery that was that we had a talking do, and that was the first one to arrive here at BRBT headquarters. The first do that speaks. Okay, the creme de la creme I saved for last. This is the exquisite, the velvety soft. Tubby, the um, rather um, uh, robust, <laughs> robust Tubby. <laughs> and Tubby is a brand new purchased do. Tubby came from the Hallmark store. And so just for the full effect, I will show you the box that Tubby came in. He is an interactive story buddy. And he responds um, when you read his storybook. There are others in the collection. You can see there, there's a variety of interactive story buddies. And so this is the Scooby-Doo variety of those. And um, Tubby has this nice little storybook. He also has this um, read-along CD that came with him too which I have not used. I've really just used the storybook. And so Tubby is designed, um, you know, if you have kids, he's a wonderful little friend for kids. So you take the book, and there's several of these books out there, actually. I've seen at least three other varieties of Scooby-Doo books. Like, you can buy the Interactive Story Buddy, and then you can get extra books that will have Tubby saying different things um, to key in from different phrases. So I haven't purchased any of the other books yet, but this is the one that came with Tubby. And um, again, as I've mentioned in the other videos, I give my own names to these dues. Um, nowhere on this packaging does it say Tubby, <laughs> but in this household, his, um, his name is Tubby. So what you do is you press his little ear. I'm ready for my story. Are you really Tubby? Okay, well, let's read a story. So you're reading along in the story. I won't read all the story text, but then you see some text that's in a different color. Like, for instance, um, but just when they opened their mouths to take a bite, they heard a loud noise. What could it be? Oh, I don't know, Scooby. I mean, Tubby. Okay, let's read onward. Let's see. Uh, well, gang, said Fred. It looks like we've got a mystery to solve. I love a good mystery. Yeah, it does look like, or it, it looks like we've got a mystery to solve. I'm on it. <laughs> See, each phrase, and I had to get that exactly right, basically, but each phrase he says um, multiple things. Okay, so let's try the next one here. Tubby, what else are we going to say to you? see. Um, oh, here's a good one. The dog's tummy began to rumble. Dinner time! Oh, the dog's tummy began to rumble. This story's making me hungry. <laughs> it really is, isn't it, Tubby? 
And let's see here. Okay, so something good happens in the story. You can see there by the image on the page. Um, a crowd began to form around Shaggy and the amazing big brown dog. This story, by the way, is about when Shaggy meets Scooby. So it's sort of Scooby's origin story. Um, and then the audience cheered loudly. <laughs> the audience cheered loudly. <laughs> so it's just just so very cute here's another one everyone gasped the gang was amazed wow that's amazing you're amazing tubby do okay so that goodbye is the sweet little tubby do and like i said he is so soft he's just velvet and he's just so adorable. He's got this little um, sort of plaque or a little plastic piece back here. And then he's got his um, his tag too, which of course I'm just about under contract to leave the tags on all of my due, but don't let me digress on that one. And you can see he retails for $35. We got a good deal for him. We did not pay that for him. Brand new. So there he is. He's so adorable. So thanks for watching and look for more videos on Terrific TV Toys.